Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalker. A sack contains four different colored balls that are colored blue, yellow, red, and pink. Of these, 14 are not blue, 16 are not yellow, 24 are not red, and 12 are not pink. How many balls are there in the sack? A version of this problem was asked in India. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Suppose the total number of balls in the sack is equal to S. Also suppose that there are B blue balls, Y yellow balls, R red balls, and P pink balls. Because the sack contains exactly these four different colors, S is equal to B plus Y plus R plus P. We also know that 14 balls are not blue. That means 14 is equal to S minus B. 16 balls are not yellow. This means 16 is equal to S minus Y. 24 balls are not red, which means 24 is equal to S minus R. And finally, 12 balls are not pink. That means 12 is equal to S minus P. We now have a system of equations. Let's take these four equations and add them together. The left-hand side will be equal to the sum of these numbers which is equal to 66. The right-hand side will be equal to 4s minus one of each color. So we subtract b, we subtract y, we subtract r, and we subtract p. But we know that s is the sum of b, y, r, and p. Therefore, this term will be equal to negative s. We'll substitute that in. We then have 4s minus s, which is equal to 3s. Thus, 66 is equal to 3s. We divide both sides by 3 and get that s is equal to 22. So it would seem there are exactly 22 balls in the sack. But wait, does this answer make any sense? To find out, let's calculate the number of balls of each color. We'll substitute into these equations and solve for each variable. From the first equation, we'll get that b is equal to 8. From the second, y is equal to 6. From the third, r is equal to negative 2. And from the last equation, p is equal to 10. But wait, r is equal to negative 2? This makes no sense. The number of red balls should be a non-negative number. Therefore, this entire problem is nonsensical. The correct answer is that there is no solution. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.